All right, this tutorial is going to teach you how to create a name input field, maybe for like a quiz or a game. Um, and then it gets saved as a variable and then you can make it get displayed anywhere else within your timeline. So as you can see here, I've got like the capture frame and then the next one is where it will be displayed. Um, all I've got is a button here, which I've called next underscore BTN. Um, and I've got this little text box here, which is an input text uh, box and it's called input underscore TXT. Um, and if I move to the next frame, I've got a uh, output underscore txt because this is where the input will be output and it's dynamic text. Um, and I've got a replay underscore btn here. Okay, uh, that is all you need. Um, you can get this FLA um, in the description below or you can uh, grab it off sector if you're doing this at school. Alrighty, uh, let's uh, make some code. So go to actions, hit F9. Um, and this will bring up our actions layer. I'm just going to move this over a little so you can see both. Awesome. All right. Um, so first things first, stop as usual. Um, and now what we need to do is create a variable called my text. So var, um, you can call it whatever you like. I'm just going to call it my text. You can call it my name or player name or whatever. I'm just going to call it my text. Um, and it's going to be a string, which is a sequence of characters. So there we go. We've got a variable. Um, that is what we're going to be saving our name as. So whenever we type in our input box here, it's going to get saved into this variable called my text, and then whatever we type in there will be saved as that sequence of characters. Um, now what we need to do is make a button handler for our submit button. Um, so I'm going to write here next underscore btn because that's what we called it before. Um, so add event listener, open bracket mouse event dot click. And we're going to call this one next click because it's going to go to the next frame. Um, and now uh, we need to make a function uh, that will capture the text. So we're going to write function capture text. Um, this is the name we're calling it. You could call it whatever. You could call it get name or get something, but I'm going to call it capture text. Um, and it is also going to do void. And I'm going to do my parentheses. And what is this function going to do? It's going to do my, my text, our variable that we called further up here, my text, um, is going to equal input underscore txt dot text. So um, this field, this little box here is called input underscore text. So um, what we're saying is um, whatever is going to be typed into that box is then going to be saved as the my text variable. So that is our function that will capture our text. Now what we need to do is make another function that combines this function and our event listener. So we're gonna write function um, next click. So this is what happens when next click, which is this one here, is pressed. So when you do that, um, we're just gonna write e dot mouse event. It's gonna be void as well. Gonna make our parentheses on the next line. Um, and what do we want? We want it to go to the next frame, um, but more importantly, we might even put this above it. Um, we want it to run our function called capture text, uh, which is the one we made just above. So what this function, it's gonna run the function above it um, and go to the next frame. So it's gonna save whatever's in here and then go to the next frame for us. Hit on the X um, and now we need to go to our next frame and add some code in here as well. So press F9 on frame number two. All right, so wax stop in here. Um, and now all you need to do is make our output text display um, that variable that we made before. So output underscore text, which is the name of this dynamic text box right here, output underscore text dot text equals the name of our variable, which is my text. Um, so now it should display um, our text that we typed in our first frame in our second frame in this dynamic text box. And we have a button on here. Um, so we need to make um, a some code to make that work. So I've pre-made this, just pasting it in here. Um, the same way we made the first button, um, except I've just changed a few of the names. So instead of it being next BTN, I've just called it replay BTN. Um, there's a typo right there. So replay click. Um, and of course, here's our function. So replay click, it's a mouse event. And instead of it 
um, going to the next frame, it's going to frame number one. Okay, um, press on the X, um, press Control Enter to test it out. And we have a syntax error. I've made a typo somewhere. And this is what happens when you get a syntax error. Probably should show you this. Look at this thing spamming away, it's hilarious. There it is. I did a dot instead of a colon. Control Enter to test it out again. Here we go. Uh, we're gonna write our name, Bob. Submit, and your name is Bob. There we go, we can go back and try it again. Ta-da, there we go. And that is how you create a input box, uh, like a player name or something like that. Thanks for watching.